my sanity's gone. I still can't process this that I'm finally out of Florida. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today, I have a very fun video for you guys. I am going on a solo road trip. It's 6.36 p.m. And I am leaving now. Probably around 7.30. I have to pack still. I'm well rested, slept all day, and I'm so excited to go. Oh my god. I'm going to be all alone though. It's a little bit, a little bit. Guys, my headlight is out and I'm in auto zone. And I know one of the workers. So this is gonna be awkward because I'm gonna have to have them put the headlight in and I'm an idiot. And he's literally staring. Like I'm just trying to vlog my road trip, guys. All right, yeah, anyways, I'll see you after the headlight's on. I would record it, but I'm awkward because I know him. I am being followed. This car is behind me and they're literally tailgating me as if they're a cop or something but they haven't pulled me over they get over oh my god they're getting over that's so funny okay well i'm safe guys I haven't gotten stopped yet guys it is a cop he just pulled next to me it's a state trooper i think he was checking my license my tag or whatever i don't want to record him because i'm really scared he's gonna see me and then pull me over for having a device in my hand should i record him He's right there to the right. So, thank you for not stopping me, sir. Thank you to that state trooper for not stopping me. He's literally just looking at everyone's tags. Um, glad my shit's not expired. Uh, I have 925 miles left to go on this trip. My sanity's gone, because I left really late. It's 10.30 at night right now. I should not see 925 miles left to go on my freaking maps at 10 30 at night it's midnight and i'm actually getting tired so i'm probably gonna stop soon get some rest and hopefully get back on the road in a few hours guys the craziest thing just happened and i should have fucking vlogged it there was a big ass wreck that had me stuck literally stuck at like the top of florida i was about to get out of florida and this wreck and there were cops everywhere and the cops blocked everything and I was just stuck there for like a half hour. I am tired. I'm awake. I could definitely drive more but I don't think I want to like risk me feeling too tired later on and then me not being able to find a place close enough. So I'm about to be in Georgia soon I think. I need to find a place to sleep so I'll update you guys when that time comes. Hey guys, I'm in Georgia now. I am so beyond happy that I'm out of Florida because that just means I'm one step closer to Pennsylvania. I still can't process this, but I'm finally out of Florida. I love road trips. So I'm stopped to get gas right now at Marathon and there's a travel shop in front of me. Bouge. I don't know where I am. I'm somewhere in Georgia, but Probably gonna go in there, see if they have a bathroom. And maybe snacks, because I'm kind of hungry. I'm actually really hungry, but I don't, I don't wanna eat right now. I'm gonna wait. I got snacks and water from this travel shop. The guy in there was super nice. And now I'm back on the road. Good morning guys, it is 7 a.m. Just woke up, a little bit hungry, but well, rested. And I'm probably gonna go get food or something. And we're gonna get back on the road, ah! We're in North Carolina! I missed the fucking sign again. North Carolina. Pennsylvania's literally, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 483 miles away from my destination. When I was in South Carolina, I got breakfast at McDonald's. I didn't really want McDonald's. Really wanted Chick-fil-A, I'm not gonna lie, but Chick-fil-A was way too far. I was just hungry and I needed food fast. Six and a half hours, guys. Do you realize how close that is? When you start out with 16 hours and you're seeing six and a half hours, this shit, 
piece of cake. I'll be there any minute now. The gas station. This time we are at Shell. It's kind of hot in here. Oh, I was about to freaking say I lost my wallet, but I found it. I thought I was like about to be fucked. I thought I left it somewhere. Oh my god, that's actually kind of a good spot. Hey guys, I'm getting gas right now. Should I start like stopping at certain places and setting up the camera and just like I'm just trying to get out of here. I feel like people are looking at me. This gas thing is leaking. If I see any pretty spots, I'll stop for you guys. Even if that means people on the side of the road are gonna stare at me. Cause it's something cool to look back on. Especially because I'm in pajama pants and a hoodie. Oh. I'm gonna have to fill up one more time before I get there. I am gonna try to like stop a couple times on the side of the road and just like take a, take a quick flick, you know? Cause fuck it. Oh my god, what is this semi coming at me? Fuck you, literally let me go, you dumbass fucking bitch. Merging on the highway. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys. Pretty much everything out of Florida is pretty or interesting to me. Because it's not Florida. And you guys that live here are like, this shit's ugly. But I'm like, this shit is beautiful. I literally can find beauty in anything except for the place I live. Which is so crazy. I think I'm just sick of the same old thing. I think I just need to get out and like experience stuff more. That's why I'm traveling, guys. I need to experience life. No. Florida's not for me. That's all I'm gonna say. Ah! I'm stopped in front of Roanoke River right now. And then I was like, oh my god, did you guys hear my back crack? Uh, I'm trying to think of when I can get out of my car though, because I'm not trying to get hit. This is so pretty! Look how pretty this river is. <laughs> there are semis everywhere! Uh, yeah, um, this is not gonna work. Look at the river! You cannot tell me that is not pretty. Okay. You can't even see it! It's just a McDonald's sign, but... Guess what? We're in Virginia. Update, I'm not... I'm tired, but like, not like, tired, you know? Like, I'm lay I want to lay down and take a nap type of vibe, but like, I want to lay down in a bed. Four hours and 40 minutes. I don't know why, but like, everything is pretty to me. Like, just the nature. It's just like, so beautiful. So cute. There's little picnic tables and stuff. This would be such a cute place to just like, have lunch. Look at this. This, I'm literally living the life. I'm living the life. Every bit of money I make, I travel, and it's worth it. Because I get to see beautiful things. I just get so sick of seeing the same thing every day. And it's like I need change in my life. And this is what I needed. And solo road trips are so refreshing because you get to listen to whatever music you want, talk to whoever you want, do whatever you want, like stop whenever you want, keep going if you want. I remember my first solo road trip was to Tennessee and I was 17, that was my first time going anywhere alone. And I kind of like found myself and I realized that my passion is traveling. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. refreshing break back to the road guys my car's name is Robert if I haven't told you yet look at how cute he looks all alone in Virginia <laughs> we're entering the city I don't know what city but it's a city can you tell I don't know my directions where am I you're at I-95 in Richmond Virginia Richmond Virginia that's what I thought because I saw signs but I was just 
you know? The Richmond sign is approaching, guys. Richmond, we're in traffic, hella, hella traffic right now. I was just stopped and it's, and we're going 15 miles per hour. And I think it's a 55 right here, maybe 60. What the fuck? What is this? I'm like two and a half hours away. I'm not trying to hit traffic right now. I'm in Maryland now and I think I'm out of traffic, hopefully for good. Now that I'm here, it's like, I feel like I'm so close, but I'm still two hours away. But it's okay. It's a lot better than 16. That's what it was originally. So I'm on the highway and I just saw a sign that said scenic view. And we're gonna go. I wasn't gonna stop again because I honestly just want to get there. But when I went to New York with Hunter, we saw this scenic view thing. And we were like, oh my god, should we go? And then we missed the exit for it. So I'm kind of curious what it looks like. No, because this is freaking pretty. Like, it's an open field. And then the mountains. No, yeah, this is pretty. This was worth the stop. Ah! This is pretty. This is it from like closer up. I'm an hour and 40 minutes away. Maryland, fuck you. Fuck you for this traffic. Bro, really? 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 That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. This traffic is not it. Not it. I want to get there. Guys, we're in Pennsylvania. So we have an hour left. So close. So close you can almost taste it. So excited. I need to go to the bathroom though. Bathroom break. I'm at seats. Uh, okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I'll be back. And then we're almost there. Bathroom break complete. And I got myself a water. Gotta stay hydrated. And we're back on the road. I didn't film an outro on my camera. So sorry for the shitty quality. But... I made it, and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.